Okay, so the day's finally come to where we're gonna be cupping these bedders in here. So these are a blue marble spawn crossed with like a, what do we wanna call that female? I don't remember what the female is called, but it's created some beautiful fry. So these guys today are now at the point where they're ready to be cupped and jarred and then sold. So in today's video, me and Justin are gonna be going through all these bedders, sorting them, choosing out the brood stock for the future generations of bedders that we wanna create. Generally just having a look at a ton of really, really cool bedders because there's just some amazing males in here. So you guys might be wondering why there's so many all together. And that's because you can actually grow better fry up together. But once they get to a size where they start to think about breeding and the males become a little bit more territorial, that's when they can become what we'd call like fighting fish. Yeah. So they're at that point now where some of the males, like for instance, see this male up here, his fins are a little bit ripped. And that's not a problem because they'll heal in like a couple of days time. That's just because some of the other males have been aggressive and fighting. These guys are probably four months to three and a half months in age at this point. Like I said, there's just some fantastic ones in here. So what happens is normally people are gonna have a problem in this video and look, I don't really care because most of the time, uh, the way we cut betters is gonna be the exact same way as everyone else cuts betters. What we'll do is we'll go to the shop, we'll get some cups we cut the bedders in like a decently sized cup and they're only in there for a week until they're then on sold to a pet shop where they hopefully go to a really good home where they go into like a planted aquarium or something like that. So they're gonna begin cups for the next week. They get daily water changes and they get fed every day and they get taken care of real well and then they're sold and hopefully go to good homes. So yeah, I guess uh, we'll go to the shop, we'll get some cups. Um, I mean, this whole rack the other week was just covered in bedders. Um, we've, we've all sold those already. We have a few leftover females in here which will be sold in the next week and we've got another massive spawn of them over here so lots and lots of betters in the fish room if you guys are interested in purchasing any betters there is going to be some available on the link below from today so we might pick those out in today's video and show you guys which ones and why yeah it should be a really fun video so let's go pick up some cups in one of the cup stores and uh cup these guys up so we've just picked up some cups last time i went and got cups i got plastic cups and this time i did a bit of research and we've actually decided to use a uh, bio cup for keeping our bedders because that way because these are single use plastics it's not really going to like damage the environment as much and these are biodegradable so once they are tossed out they will biodegrade and they won't cause a problem like for millions of years so i thought it was like an easy way to like make sure we weren't doing harm with our business yeah but we'll go to the fish room now and i will cup the bedders and have a look at them Alrighty, well we're back in the fish room now and we're gonna start jarring these guys up. So you can see we've got all of the fish in here. They look really, really good. There's a few crazy good looking ones and uh, there's some draft ones in here, but you get that with every batch. So they're all gonna go to good homes hopefully, but uh, we're gonna have a look at the sexing now. I don't know if Justin wants to try and explain it. He's a little bit better at explaining some stuff because I'm not the best with sexing these guys, especially because these guys aren't long fins. So sexing them, there's a few things that you gotta look for that's different because like long fins, right? They're all just long fin. So it yeah. makes them a little bit easier to sex. So I guess we'll start off with our favorite. So I guess, do you want to pick out this one? This yeah. male's crazy. All right, so Justin's going to start out. He's going to pick out three, which he thinks are good. <laughs> good males. And then I'm going to pick out a few and we're going to have a look at them. So like, I'm looking for the, the caudal fin, which is like the tail fin. The best looking males in here that I've seen have an almost D-shaped tail fin. Like a half moon. Yeah, like a half moon. These are all half moon per cuts. Yeah, yeah, so we're selecting for that trait. So there's a particular male in here that has that beautiful D-shaped tail. I wish, can you see him there? This blue one here. Oh, him, yeah. It's a stunning male. So you can kind of see the shape. Yeah, you can. A little trick if you guys didn't know, if you want to take a better video, you throw it in the in the water. But um, we're only going to be able to see the fins because there's no light in here. Yeah, he looks really, really good. Alrighty, so I guess I want to also try pick out a really cool color, Andy. Yeah, I reckon. Like, I that's also quite important. I really like this guy here. Yeah, you can't really appreciate it in this lighting, but he's got like this green he actually looks really metallic good color. Try and get him out. And he's also got very nice fins, not as nice as the other male, but the color is just really, yeah. I really like that color. Oh, he's amazing. Alrighty. So third one and uh, we'll, sw we'll swap over. I'm gonna pick another one with a nice tail. Look at this guy with the face. The white face? Yeah. I love that one. Yeah, he's amazing. It's so hard sometimes to let go of these. Yeah. All right, it, this, cause they're little water puppies. So this is just another one that I really like the shape of the fins. So you've got really good color as well, but man. I love that. He's not, well, he was flaring before and- Yeah, now really he's a little bit, yeah. Really appreciate his fit. Alrighty, so it's my turn to pick out a really, really cool better. So I'm gonna get three of my favorites. Um, 
I think first one is gonna be, it's gonna be like one of those cot him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looking at that. The ones that stand out the most, absolutely stunning. So here's this one. This one, you can see on his head, I don't know how you describe it. It's like kind of like the cellophane coming through a little bit. Um, he's got that blue marble effect, like what his father looked like. He's really, really good. His fins aren't perfect, but that's not a problem. I think the colors are really, really good. So for my second choice, I'm gonna get the, I saw this really cool blue rim looking one. Some of them are quick. Here we go, perfect. Perfect. Look at him. Wow. I know, look at that. Is that a black rim? Bl oh, no, I'm colorblind. It looks pretty, is it black? Oh, a little bit of blue. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of blue. Lots of people who are like really, really into betters will be like, oh, that's like something wrong with the better. I'm big on color. Like, yeah, fins are really, really important. But for me, color is like my number one thing. The fins are important because it's, it's part of making a good fish, but color is so important to me too. So for my last choice, we're going to be taking the one I was talking about before. By the way, real quick, you can see this one here. The one that's not swimming properly. That's an example of one that will just be given away or sold for like hardly anything to a store just for like, cause there's no point culling that fish. Like it could still be a really, really good pet for someone and live out a really good life. It's just a little bit different, but I, I definitely like as a business couldn't sell, sell out for full price. So nonetheless, I'm gonna find the one with the white face. Here he is, I might catch him. Got him in the cup. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> that to me is an outstanding better. Perfect fins in my opinion. Um, cool colour, close. yeah, like a frostbite better. Oh, love that yeah. white face. Man. Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I guess we'll keep going. Um, and then at the end, we're gonna pick out like everything that we're gonna keep for hopefully breeding in the future. And uh, our favourites, like me and Justin, pick out our three favourites, I think. Yeah, I mean, most of these better is like, the, we'll pick out a few for the store and the favourites will be for the store. We just finished putting them all up onto their new rack. Now, yes, these guys will only be here for about a week um, until they get sold to all the shops. And some of these guys will go to you guys, but if they don't go to you guys within a week, they don't go to a shop. So if there's a better that you like, don't sit on it too long because either someone will take it or it just will end up at the shop and uh, you'll miss out. We try and pick out the best ones for you guys to choose from and the rest go to the shops. But we've picked out 10 of the best ones that we've Side are the best. Well, we're going to be picking out maybe two males for future breeding. Yeah, I think so. Just, think, yeah. Yeah, two, two males for future breeding and then... And then the rest will go to you guys. So uh, we'll go one by one. You guys can pick in the comments below which one's your favorite and which one you would breed. Uh, and we'll try and give a quick and brief comment on each each fish. And uh, yeah, so let's start over on our first fish. I'm give it to Justin now. I'm not too sure what we'd call this one. Here you can get a real good look at it. So the reason we picked this one is because of that pale colour. It's like an icy kind of colour, would you say? Yeah, it's like almost like the dragon kind of. Yeah. But not really, yeah. It's an interesting looking one um, and it's got good finish. So it's not going to have great finish here because it's not flaring. But uh, it had a really, really good D-shaped half moon tail, um, which is really desirable for future breeding. But we're probably not going to pick this one, I'd say. So we're looking more for colour and the strain was designed to be a blueberry colour. So this is just a cool outline for one of the things that we've created. So we'll put him on the rack and he'll be on the store soon. So we'll put him over here, I yep. think, yeah. We'll line them all up, I guess. So this is very similar to the last one that we had. I'd say this is a grade below on the color. I think the other one had a bit more vibrancy. This one has good tails, but it's kind of got like a peppery look to it, which I don't think would be that desirable. Yeah, people have different tastes of different things. So I like the other one a little bit better, but someone here is obviously gonna like this one a little bit better. Oh yeah, this one's cool. So this has like, kind of, I'd say this is like a mix between the two of them. Yeah, more blue in it. And um, I think a little bit more active. Fins aren't all there. I love the head when they have that like cap on them. Yeah. Uh, these are really, really cool looking. So I'd say this is number one. I don't know, the other two would have been, the first one that we saw would have been number two and uh, this is cool because we actually haven't decided which ones we're going to keep this one is an example of something that like looking at the way it's swimming it's got good color but it's not swimming properly um and it's got a bit of a hunched back so we might not be able to sell this this is an example of something that we probably i don't know we just just definitely missed this oh, okay this one's cool this one's really cool all right so this is probably going to be one of our picks because this looks most like what i can remember the male looked like from when we first bred them he's not swimming as no. much as we want him to yeah he's pretty docile but uh he did have really good fins. So he's more of that blueberry kind of color. He's got some of that white through him. 
So he was flaring before, otherwise we wouldn't have picked him. A little bit scared at the moment, so. We'll put him on the shelf then? Yeah, we'll put him on the shelf. I reckon that's gonna be our pick. Very similar to the last one. I think this one this has one, more yeah. blue. And this one had an excellent portal fin. Okay, so maybe. A tail fin, yeah. What do you reckon? This one over the other one? Coming down to the last few. This one's cool. Oh, this one's cool. really cool, yeah. Probably not going to be using it for future breeding. Someone's going to be very lucky when they get this. Yeah, so if you wanted to keep that on, it's a bit like a blue rim, but it's got that black kind of rim to it. Yeah. We've been eyeing this one off the whole time. Like every time Justin's come to the fish room, we've been like, oh, look at this one. And uh, we've been watching it grow and um, turn into a really beautiful male. So yeah. he's a really good boy. Fins are there, they're all good. It's just that it's not what we're trying to breed. Yeah. Okay, so this one we're going to probably keep. Is this the purple one? One of the best ones in the whole batch for sure. It's got a purple colour to it, which is really rare. I don't see many purple betters anywhere. We'll keep this one just because I want to try and see if we can make more purple. The fins are good and uh, everything about the better was good. It's strong. It's a little bit thin. Last two. This is the one with Ooh. the white face. He keeps coming up everywhere just because of that white face. Probably not going to continue to breed him just because I doubt that white face is going to carry for it through. Yeah. He's a really, really cool looking better nonetheless and something different. Last but not least. Yeah. A little bit too pale for us and maybe there's something like maybe his back isn't as straight as we want. Good looking better though nonetheless. Yeah, the fins are really good proportion. We'll probably keep the, um, what do we say, the purple one down the end over there. Yep. And we'll keep the, this one. Those are the two that we'll keep and the rest will be up on the website. So I guess that's gonna wrap this video up. We've still got a few males obviously in this tank, which need to be jarred. We'll do that over a long period of time, but these will hopefully go to the shop very, very soon and they won't be in these cups for very long. Thanks so much for helping us out today, Justin. Um, no, so and if you guys are interested, Justin's channel is gonna be up in the top right-hand corner. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.